You didn't have to do that. The editor didn't have to talk about us like that. Uh, you know what? I'm being presumptuous, but thank you guys so much for your support all year. You guys have been coming through for me in regards to liking, subscribing, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. Thank you guys so much. Merry Christmas. By the time you see this, Christmas is probably over. But thank you guys regardless. I hope you got everything you wanted and needed. If you're here for the first time, be sure to subscribe if you're here for the topic at hand. But since you're already here, just subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. We'll, uh, we'll, I'll make up for that a little later. But to, to the editor stuff, what I'm here to talk about in regards to Otis editor, basically saying that we suck. Not just us, but everyone. Pretty much every single theorist on YouTube, on forums, when we talk about the end of One Piece. So the end of One Piece, it was a hot topic for the past, I think, six months or so. Because there are so many reports coming out about Oda saying that One Piece will end in five years. And he really means it now. And he means it a lot more than the previous five times he said it. And five times is being generous. I know Oda, he's planned to end One Piece so many times before. But when you think, when you go back to interviews, go back to different excerpts of things Oda has said. Maybe that would be an interesting video. The most interesting things Oda has said about his story. It seems like sometimes... Sometimes he wants to go until the end for him and sometimes it's like he wants to wrap it up next year right but again i guess that's the ebbs and flows of writing a story almost 1000 chapters pretty much in right one thousand chapters i remember in school i used to struggle with writing you know five page essays it's like what are we doing here this is ridiculous i i, I have things to do i want to play video games so 1000 chapters of straight heat my god but oda's editor basically came out and said and i'll read this report and this is from at eaton Bobby says the current editor of one piece iwasaki learned about one piece's ending on his 24th birthday i don't even want to tell you guys what i was doing on my 24th birthday but i guarantee you it wasn't learning the secrets of one piece and the ending holy crap iwasaki congratulations brother but he also watched his theory videos on the ending from one piece fans on youtube and tv shows and he said that none of them are close to the answer translation the guy speculating about this stuff you suck and you're not close so anything you're speculating about you're wrong and that got me to thinking are we really that far off like when you think about the end of one piece we have this formula and we've based it off of what has happened in the story and so we're like okay based on this formula based on things that's happened that's been set up obviously what's gonna happen at the end is x and he's saying none of us are even close now i don't mean to be presumptuous by assuming this guy this japanese guy watches english theories but let's say he does let's say he's seen some theories on one piece about the ending in regards to pluton destroying the red line and then you know the all blue being the destruction of the red line and all the seas coming together i feel like that's a really solid theory that's wrong i mean come on oda had to have heard that at some point that's wrong if we're thinking about the end of one piece and again going back to roger and finding out raftel or laugh tail and him laughing at that story what the hell? It makes me start to question my own feelings about the end of One Piece. How do I feel about the end of One Piece? Well, this ancient kingdom stuff has been set up from the beginning. The ancient kingdom, they got overthrown in some way, right? They got overthrown by the current monarchy, not monarchy, that's that's wrong the current government in power which consists of these kings and they put things in place to somehow rise again with the poneglyphs and the ancient weapons etc etc with the joy boy and his story but when you think about it it's like they knew their demise was coming so either they had things in place or they had something like in case of emergency break glass like we send out all these poneglyphs everywhere we send people to the future all these different things because for toki we know she came from that time and we really don't know her true purpose yet but based on how she said things it seems like she tried to run away from her destiny and she essentially ended up exactly where she needed to be following odin and supporting him on his journey towards finding about the ancient kingdom and the one piece so in essence it's all connected like something i talked about recently in my one piece is the greatest of all time is just how connected things are and every situation that happens feels like it's meant to happen and it's supposed to happen even though it's possibly destiny and for the end with luffy being involved i'm not sure how like how can we be that off we think luffy becomes a pirate king and finds the one piece if we're that off is Oda saying that he's going to throw a wrinkle in where Blackbeard finds the One Piece and then Blackbeard essentially does something with whatever he finds and then Luffy has to basically save the world? But the thing is, Luffy Luffy says he's not a hero and that's not what he wants to be. He wants to be free. And something that I was thinking about recently is just how Luffy, he's essentially the epitome of freedom, right? And Blackbeard and what he portrays and his powers and how he goes about things with his black hole in Kurozu is essentially wants to trap you. Blackbeard, even though he's a true pirate, he's not necessarily searching for freedom. It's about power so in essence could there be another short time skip where blackbeard actually becomes the pirate king and 
actually takes over the world and now the straw hats have an uphill battle to basically relinquish that from blackbeard i don't know that seems a bit crazy but if we're off is it that crazy okay something we have to also factor in is that we predict a lot right a lot of things about oda and the story and characters where it's gonna go and every single week it feels like we're just so off about what could happen devil fruits powers the story in general like come on no one could have predicted what could have happened in chapter 9 57 and 56 no one these things were not expected in regards to garb joining with roger to defeat rocks okay we talk about the lurking legend people speculate shiki coming back rocks coming back it being emu it could be somebody completely different that we do not know who it is personally i don't like talking about the end of one piece so much because it's almost like you know that relative or you going on a trip you always enjoy the trip and you try not to think about that plane ride home you're like man i just want to enjoy it here but you know that plane ride home is gonna suck because you're going back home back to just you know regular regular life and you're here enjoying yourself you're like you know what i don't want to think about it and that's kind of how i feel about it but it just keeps getting thrown in your face so much it's like man how can i not talk about it the end of one piece it's here well not here five years five four years away we're not sure exactly where with the covid and pandemic going on but it's it's a lot closer than we think i may go back and read a bunch of things to change how i feel or change my viewpoint on the end of the series because i think maybe i'm looking at it too straightforward where i'm looking at it based on again things just happened but one piece doesn't really operate that way things are normally a, a very unpredictable i'm gonna come back with an end of one piece video right talking about what i see in the end the most improbable ending of one piece but it's gonna be crazy like it's not gonna be the regular let's make sense of the pot no it's gonna be based off of just explosive things i could see happening at the end but it's not gonna be in line with what you expect because one piece again regularly blows our expectations out of the window wait i don't think that makes sense blows our expectations like out of the water it blows it out of everything whatever just just know it blows it whoa anyway I i'm not ready for one piece to end i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure a lot of people agree with me where it's like all right yeah we're not we're not ready yet. Oda, we're not ready yet. I'm sorry. I'm going to start a petition for Oda to extend One Piece by five or ten. You know, <laughs> I understand writing a story for this long. At some point, you need a break. And for Oda, it feels like he wants to take a break. Take a break and come back then come back with two pieces and and we'll be fine i don't talk about two piece all the time but i think i think it will be a thing genuinely but seriously though for the end of one piece it's going to come down to what you think laugh tale is whatever you think luffy finds and his decision on what happens to it something with luffy that sometimes you can't really factor in how he would feel about certain things because he has an amazing crew around him to help him with decisions like this and i think oda will also give added motivation in regards to luffy not ex not exactly saving the world but having incentive for saving the world meaning his actual friends people that he cares about will be in danger so he's like all right i'll get rid of this world government anyway because either they have boy hancock or they have vivi or worst case scenario they have sabo personally what i would like the most i would like shanks to be involved at the end there are a lot of shanks dying theories that i mean i've put some out there because that makes a lot of sense motivation added motivation for luffy someone that strong not being in the story anymore blackbeard gaining some clout from destroying shanks you know obviously a bounty raise being more dangerous destroying someone like shanks but what if shanks doesn't die what if shanks is actually an informant of the world government where he's actually working with the world government what if shanks is a former celestial dragon what if shanks decided that what it means to be a pirate is preserving the next generation which we can kind of sort of already see but the theories are going to run wild and i think the end of one piece is going to be amazing something that we don't expect for chapter 1000 i talked about it being about the journey and you know we can look at the milestone as not necessarily about chapter 1000 but hey we got here and we got here and we learned so many things along the way which people think is corny and cheesy uh but i think it's some you know some validity to it um and for the end of one piece i think it's going to be satisfying it's not going to be just about the journey even though that's important and we can't forget that like this will not be here really soon i'm sorry to keep reminding you guys about that but sometimes we take it for granted sometimes we wake up and we're just super critical of everything and we take it for granted so i just want to always remind you guys that at some point it could be bleach okay you know what i'm sorry i'm sorry i like i really like bleach a lot that was an unnecessary attack on bleach but bleach just bleach just got shafted at the end man it, it's not bleach's fault or i should say kubo's fault but bleach is coming back though bleach the anime is coming back i'm not gonna commit to reviewing it because you know like attack on titan fans you know some some of you guys may spoil me and i may not even want to do it anymore i mean i i've I've read most, you know what? I'm not even going to get into a bleach discussion now. Guys, let me know what you thought. What are your thoughts on the end of One Piece? And <laughs> I know a lot of people in the comment section already said that, okay, YouTube theorists, 
you guys suck. I don't consider myself a theorist because I, I barely make theories, right? But I do speculate and theorize sometimes. It's it's all in good fun anyway. But Jesus Christ, Iwasaki, you didn't have to you didn't have to do that, man. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas if you do celebrate it or you know whatever you celebrate at this time. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again for your support. I appreciate it. Make sure to like the video if you did and subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far, you're still watching me, you're not subscribed. It makes sense, right, to subscribe at this point. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAce. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Again, thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I start doubting me, I felt lost. I'd be rather